Hey guys, what's going on? I'm gonna be showing you my top five favorite snails to put in the BioCube. Let's go. All right, coming in at number five, we have our turbo snail. Now this species right here is the Mexican turbo snail and they are absolute algae destroyers all day long as you can see they're grazing and eating algae non-stop they're super good at eating green hair algae or the filamentous algae out there now i do recommend that you get these sparingly and don't get a whole bunch of them at once i usually like to get about three to four of them at a time and then see how they go about eating the algae because if they eat all the algae in one day they're gonna starve and eventually die in your tank and therefore polluting the tank and a waste of your cold hard earned money Coming in at number four, we have the Nasarius snails. Now these snails are super awesome and beneficial to any tank, honestly, because they like to burrow down into the sand and therefore turning up the sand, the top layer, they don't get too deep. And you can always find them because they have these cool snorkels. And I like to call them zombie snails because as soon as you put food in the tank, they come crawling out of the sand. Brain. Like so, they are going nuts. They are all over the tank. They're great scavengers. They eat uneaten food. The tri dead matter to include other snails that may have died in the process they'll swarm anything that's dead and consume it so that's really awesome they are great cleaners of your reef and I suggest that you get as many as you can get of these because they are so beneficial especially turning over the sand and getting oxygen in there and not allowing the gas to get trapped. And next up for number three, we have the Sarath snail. Now these snails are super awesome because they eat a variety of diatoms, cyanobacteria, film algae, detritus, hair algae. They're really multi-purpose in a reef tank and they are so small or they stay small enough to where they can get into your rock work and clean all of the detritus out. And if you have cyano going like I did, they were great at getting into the little cracks and getting the cyano and eating that so they're really good snail to have in your tank a really cool thing about these snails is that they easily breed in a reef tank with no issues they will breed like rabbits so to speak which is not an issue because the more snails you have the cleaner your tank will be coming in at number two is the conch snail conch snails are really good at keeping your sandbag clean they eat hair algae film algae cyano diatoms detritus you name it, if it's on the sand bed, they're probably going to eat it. And they're really cool to watch because they have this trunk that comes out in these two googly eyes. As you can see, they retract in when fish or anybody comes by. But they are super beneficial in keeping the sand bed clean as long as it's not too much for them. Coming in at number one is my personal favorite, the Trochus snail. These guys are super good at eating basically anything. Green hair algae, slime algae, film algae, cyano, diatoms, you name it, and they're probably gonna eat it as long as it's type of algae. Why they are my most favorited snail is that they can actually write themselves, meaning they can flip themselves over if they land on their shell. Unlike the Astraea snails where you have to find them in time or else they'll just die. All right guys, well that'll do it for this video. And if you enjoyed it and you found it helpful, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and turn on bell notifications so that you know when I upload. And remember guys, just reef.